Cheers. What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's, it's Dev. We're back. A movie reaction. Requiem <coughs> for a dream. Now I've heard about this movie. My mom. And there's a lot of reactions. Especially TV shows that I've watched. And I think some movies. That it's been my parents from what I've, like, I, that I've heard about. So I, that's a good thing. Because my parents have pretty decent taste. I mean they got me onto Mr. Robot. And uh, it's one of my favorite shows ever. Lost. Even though I kind of watched that with them as a child. So I guess I was forced. So they put me on that as well. But nonetheless, I'm excited to watch Requiem for a Dream. But also ready to get maybe humbled, I guess. Because I've heard like this just, it's a, woo, it's a big one. It's, it's a lot of people's favorite movie. Jennifer Connelly, I mean, I... Pfft, if I was a 90s kid, 80s, 90s kid, oh my god, she would have been the one. And I think, you know, she is. She's still gorgeous as ever. Um, but, you know, just back in the back and back, back, back from the, all the things I've seen. Oh, Jennifer Colley, what a beautiful woman. Uh, Jared Leto. Uh, I'm not like a big fan of Jared Leto. Like you saw in the, the intro to the video, I do enjoy uh, the kill from his band, 30 Seconds to Mars. But other than that, I mean, he's a, he's an interesting dude, Jared Leto is, you know. He <laughs> practically has his own cult. Uh, he's a very interesting man. Uh, Morbius, you know. And there's other things that I've heard, but that's just on the internet. And that's just, you know, hearsay. So I don't know. we're not going to get too much into it. But he is definitely uh, an interesting, an interesting man. A coworker I work with loves Jared Leto to death, so that's pretty funny. But yeah, um, I heard a lot of good things about this movie. That it came out what? What year? What year did this flick release? Because I am definitely interested in that. Two thousand, so a year before I was born. Okay. I think there is one song in here that I do know, and it might be from this movie. The... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, hold up. Let me... Uh, this is the, might be the only thing I know about this movie. One of the most classic pieces of production ever. Clint Mansell, performed by Kronos Quartet. The Kronos Quartet. You know... The only reason that I know of this song was because of the two... I'm not even going to get into it. I'm, I've been yapping for a while. But it's because there was an old 2006 Chicago Bears edit that I used to watch when I was a kid. And it featured that song and it used to get me hyped. And I, I kind of want to play... Nonetheless, sorry for all the yapping. I'm excited slash scared to get into Requiem for a Dream. I'm excited. Let's get into it in three, two, one. One nine hundred nine seven six. The juice. Oh, that's what's his name. Oh, fucking the dragonfly's nemesis from superhero movie. Ah, uh, yeah, Darren Ar Aronofsky. I've heard that name plenty of times. Why do you always have to get into my head for Christ's sake? Oh, well, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. The chain isn't for you, it's for the robbers. See what I mean? You see how you always gotta upset me, Ma? Come on now. Do me 
smile. And if it should be happening, it would be all right. So don't worry, Seymour. Blow all that out. You'll see already. In the end, I'll find it. Okay. Very interesting opening sequence. He's in this. I'm going to preface this. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I've never watched this film. I have no idea what it really means. But here's one of the greatest pieces of music ever made. What's the deal with the names getting like blacked out? Like they like, I don't know what's happening to them. It's like, yeah, they're just getting transitioning into something weird. I can't really tell what it is. Looks trippy though. This sounds like such like a 2000s remix of a song because this really reminds me of like a perfect circle in their remix album. You know what I mean? I don't know why. Where are they going with this TV? What's the objective? Holy shit. Huel was in Always Sunny. Now we have Hector Salamanca. Such a son of gun if your mother needs you like a moose needs a hat rat. Oh, they had to sell the tea. Ah, uh, okay. Drug addiction is what this movie is about. I'll just take up a big guess. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Join us in creating next excuse. Passion for living than you ever imagined. Be exotic. God, these cookies are my, or the cookies, chocolates remind me of my grandma's. This this apartment or house or whatever reminds me of my grandma's. What was that? What was that? <laughs> I'm not interested. 
That's right, Mrs. Goldfarb. Television. Congratulations. <laughs> Look, I don't have Not any... Uh... Money, Mrs. I'm calling to tell you you've already won. Mail-in and Block discovers contestants for most of America's television shows. You've already been chosen from a long list of potential contestants, meaning you've already won. Ooh. Yes, Mrs. Goldfarb. I never thought I'd be on television. I'm just the... That's right, you on television. We'll be sending you all the necessary information in the mail. Goodbye, congratulations, and take care. <laughs> God, she looks like my my dad's aunt. What would that be to me? That would be like my great aunt. It's like it's my grandpa's sister. But she looks almost dead on. It's like she took this look. She watched this movie for the first time and was like, I want to look like her. Gotta commit to it. It's tough, man. Sugar. That's that's a tough one. I need to get. I need to at least cut down. I don't think I could ever cold turkey really anything. I like this, just nice still shot of them sleeping together. That was a nice shot. Double our money, no problem. Oh, shit, man. Then we get us a pound of pure and retire. You know what that means. They're having that conversation again. I feel like that's a normal thing. That's a red. I mean, that's a red. I mean, it's not a red red. Does that have something to do with? That's a red. That it's a, a little orange, too. Okay. Cheers to anybody out there smoking right now. We're vibing. That was very satisfying. Why is it this motherfucker? What is that? It's not like a religious. We're gonna make it a little darker tomorrow. Why dark? To go with my red dress. Yeah, but now it's looking like Madonna. This is not Madonna. And neither is this. But soon, I'm going on a diet. What diet are you on? Eggs and grapefruit. Oh, I was on that one. Lots of luck. It's not so bad. How long you been on it? All day. All day. <laughs> one o'clock. <laughs> that's so realistic. That's so real. Uh, that oh, come on. Nice transition. I 
when I used to take a lot of psychedelics, this was one movie that popped up from, like, I would look up good movies to watch while tripping or whatever. And none of the movies seemed like good tripping movies, like the recommendations people have. But I could see that vibe right now. I have a, I have an, I have a feeling. There it is, Jim. Jim. All I'm saying is we should take a little taste so we know how much to cut. It's business. Fair enough. We'll see about that. Well, we will see about that. This is real as well. Trying to diet. Like, this is a good representation of that. I'm not going to lie. You ain't going to be able to sleep. That's not happening. You know what's for dinner tonight? Sleep. She's dreaming cupcakes. Cookies, donuts. Oh, my God. Not jealous of this guy now. Come on. I have 50 pounds I'm willing to donate. We can take care of that. No problem. Didn't make eye contact once. Classic doctor. Classic. Okay. I thought that was Granny real quick. Rolling up the blunt, the transition. Come on now, Alice. Got plenty of time for that. Right now I'm grooving with these new mirrors I got. Yeah, new mirrors, huh? Getting shit done. I wish I could get shit done like this. Just have the motivation to do it. And I, I get the motivation to do it. It's just like sometimes my body won't let me. But I don't want this, though. Fuck no. <laughs> Most people. I've been busy, real busy. Oh yeah? You got a good job, you're doing real well? Yeah, real good, real good. What kind of business? Well, uh, I'm sort of a distributor, like, for a big importer. No! Uh, hey. Importer, exporter, eh? Well, I can hear you grinding your teeth from here. Yeah, that goes away at night. At night? Yeah, when I take the green one. 30 minutes, I'm asleep. Poof, just like that. You gotta cut that stuff loose. I'm telling you, it's no good. Okay, all right, buddy. Says you. I like the way I feel. I like thinking about the red dress and the television and you and your father. Now when I get the sun, I smile. Come and visit, ma. Nah, I'm straight. My, my business is going good. I'll come, me and Marion. We'll, we'll come for dinner. That's good. You bring her. I'm making mushroom soup and a roast. That sounds great, ma. Bye, son.
Oh, what a scene, man. God, that was depressing. He actually locked the fuck in and started mewing and I mean he like that's legit. The that that was yeah. What? God. The sounds and the 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 noise like just the, I, I, I love the directing. Give a juicy welcome to Mrs. Sarah Goldbar. Juice by Sarah, juice by Sarah, juice by Sarah. Ooh, Sarah, juice, Sarah, juice. Ooh, Sarah. That was that, 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 ha ha ha. The sweat and everything, it's just damn. The weight's doing fine. The weight's fine. I'm not. The refrigerator. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Everything's. All mixed up. Confused. That's nothing to worry about. Just get this bill. Take an appointment for a week. What the fuck? Pills to get better from the pills that you already took. What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know. Well, you have to do something here. I mean, it's your fault that we don't have something for the morning. What are you talking about? You were all hot in the biscuit to get off last night. That is such bullshit! You didn't have to, okay? And we could have had something What was right I now. supposed to do? I'm gonna sit around and watch you push off and knock on myself? Just don't put it all on me, okay? We'll start moving again. We'll start saving. Just like it was. A lot of we'll keep doing this, we'll keep doing that. So when, when we do this, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna be big. We're gonna be big and big. It's gonna be crazy. Oh my god! Like we're 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 gonna be there. Says every addict in the world. I have a favor to ask. Ah! Yes, what the fuck? What is it? Oh, I hate that. The imagery of your girlfriend, you know what she's doing, and you're just sitting here. You obviously know what she's doing it for, but it's just a horrible... Oh. We got nothing to lose. 
It's wide open, and if we get there right away, we can name our own price, and we can sit back and be cool and have those fucking fools scuffle the streets for us. The hyping up again, man. God damn it. The film grain being really high. Like, really staticky right now. Is very realistic. Is is very like how do you see with my experience with something like psychedelics and after doing those after like continuously, I would get something like that. Wanna be sure we have some extra stuff? I told me about a guy that's holding some weight. But he ain't selling it. Yeah. You talking to me? That guy's number. What guy? Yeah, the guy who likes broads. Just give me the fucking number for Christ's sake. Oh no. Taffy, join us in creating excellence. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. And the gold shoes. Okay, Mrs. Goldfarb. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Let's take it nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> that evil ass fucking laugh, dude. That was weird. God damn, Jim. How long you had that? Just a few days. That shit don't look too good. Yeah, it don't feel too good either, man. Right, a little stuff will take care of that. Hey, hey, he said, what's wrong with you? Don't shoot in there. I'll blow it if I don't. Fuck it. Oh my god, that's who I think it is. I'll see you Sunday, baby. Okay, Mrs. Goldfarb, just try and answer my questions, okay? When did he start taking the pill? That was a trippy scene. That was really well done. I mean, all it is is just putting another image. But the way it was like, it was, like if you were tripping watching that, like you were, like, like I felt like I was tripping watching that just for a quick second. Now I may be just high off the weed, but still. Oh. Uh. I'll be 
back in a minute. God, what have I seen him in? I've seen him in... Uh, have I seen him in Lost? What have I seen? Not Lost. I don't know. That just one second shot of the of the dildo. Put your spine back into it. Huh? Come on. They're mirroring each other so much. They had to take off his goddamn arm, man. Like watching crazy shit on on this channel, man. God damn, man. What a fucking movie, bro. I didn't look at the time once. I was locked in. Oh. Ugh. What a trip, dude. What a what a trip. I'm gonna tell my mom I watched this for the first time. She's she'll be like, oh really? Yeah, that was uh that was a movie. Depicts... I, I, there's a lot in that movie. You know what I mean? God. Talk about films in the 2000s that could be definitely encapsulating and just hit you with a sense of fuck man people go through this shit and the the lengths they will go um for their dreams which all boils down to an addiction and you can be addicted to like 
it's not even a film about drug addiction, which obviously the big part is drugs, the pills that that uh, Sarah, uh, uh, the mom, you know, her addiction was wanting, like her vice was was television and her wanting to be big on TV. <coughs> for her and her family and get validation for her especially with the red dress that was a big thing and always the red dresses are always a big thing in movies as like a a big key to something you know what i mean but you know she wanted to be thin the diet pills i mean it literally i mean it took you through it all all the ranges of addiction i mean you have the you know, all right, if we get this and we're going to, we're going to flip this shit and we're going to get out of it. We're going to be big. Boom. Smoke it. Okay. God, we, we'll get it this time. All right. No, this time. Nope. This time, this time, this time, this time, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. And just keeps going into a cycle and cycle and until like at the end, you just, you just you go into madness, just complete and utter insanity, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting results doing the same thing over and over again having no results expecting different results obviously the definition of insanity but um just a tragic tale you know seeing Jennifer Connelly in a film like this it, it definitely hurts seeing her in this kind of position i know it's just a character but like god i felt for her character you know G great acting from jared leto like he like I, if anything this is his best role you know what i mean uh love it uh darren Ar 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 arnofsky absolutely awesome the 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 drug sequences you know depicting you know i've never done what they do I just kind of stick to my weed and, you know, my psychedelics and all that because that's just what it is. Um, but, like, just the, the audio, the auditory things they did, like the sound design with, with like, the scratching and the... And all that. The, rem the remixing of the main theme within the whole soundtrack was awesome. The quick cuts, all of it, like, it, uh, very well directed and definitely just kind of sits with you you know um and like i said just the the things you will do to get your vice you know a drug addict or just an addict in general will do anything to get what they desire you know fucking his arm was fucked up And you, you kind of don't realize it, like, when they go to jail and when she's getting pretty much lobotomized, like, you really, it really all happens all of a sudden. Like, it's just like, oh, within a flash, it's there. You're fucked. You're cooked. Like, her friend, her friends seeing her like that, it's like she's done, she's not there. Like, she's practically dead. Practically. Same with uh, Marianne and, and Jared Leto and... You know Tyrone, like their their lives are over, and it was just for that fucking for that hit for that for that for that vice, you know, and disturbing. Marianne going to that dude's house and having to do all that in front of so many dudes, disgusting. Just for her, and, and and at the end where she's, you know, hugging her little baggie, all for that. She's not even smoking it. It's that precious. She's like, I'd rather not even smoke it. I'm just going to cuddle with it. The quick cut of the dildo just being... <sighs> That's insane. And then, like, the cut to him doing work and Tyrone doing work and all the reactions to their face and her, like, 
Come, 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 come. Like, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Damn. That was a great movie, man. It was a great fucking movie. It was... I other I almost watched Dream Scenario tonight, the Nicolas Cage movie that came out last year. I almost watched that, but Requiem for a Dream because I thought of that movie when I read the title. I was like, oh, Dream Scenario. I was like, oh yeah, I heard about this. And then I thought of Requiem for a Dream. I was like, ooh, I've wanted to watch that for a while now, and I I'm glad I did. You know, I I I'm I have an like I'm addicted to shit. I'm addicted to nicotine and. As much as I would like to not admit it, you know, I'm addicted to weed. Like, you know what I mean? It is. I mean, no. My biggest addiction besides nicotine, not even weed, caffeine. Now, to be fair, I think I've drinking, like, took a drink out of this, like, maybe three times during the whole video. So, it's not as bad. I think I hit this. I don't even know if I hit this as much during the video either. I probably did. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. But, you know, stuff like heroin and shit like that, that's not to be played with, man. Not to be played with. Something I will never touch, most likely. You know? And, and pills from the doctor, like hydrocodone or whatever it may be. Like Sarah or whatever got prescribed. And that, I mean, to be fair, she was eating you know, like candy at one point because her fucking refrigerator was terrifying her which the quick cuts of like the loud noise that's real you know just being on psychedelics and just being on like like coming down from like you know give me i'll give you an example like say i did acid one day three days later do another thing of acid then two days later i'm not doing acid but like i've been so fucked up from it you know a, a situation like that is i'll hear a random just <laughs> And it'll just be a random noise that doesn't exist. Or it's just like, like say it's like the mini fridge I have over here. It'll make a loud noise. It Like if I was normally sober, it wouldn't be anything that would make me jump at all. But if I'm coming down and I'm just, um, my brain is all, you know, wired and like that, you'll hear that noise. You're like, oh! You know, or like the wind outside banging against shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I haven't done anything too crazy like what Marianne did. Or really, well, any of them. I've never had to go to any like horrible things just to get my addiction. You know what I mean? So I guess that's good. If I, if I, I can, I do my 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 nicotine and my weed with the parameters of the money that I have. You know, I gotta preserve some money just to have money, and then I gotta pay the stuff I need to pay, and then you know, there's weed <laughs> and nicotine. So it is what it is. But. What a movie. What a film. Love Jennifer Con Everybody's performance was great. And the mother, Jared Leto. The guy who played Tyrone. You know. Fucking scary movie type shit. Haunted House dude. Uh, really great performance by him. Love Jennifer Connelly though. And the mother. Uh, Sarah. Uh, she was great. And then the same show she kept watching just because she was on it. She just kept watching it over and over because she, she was so validated by that and she wanted to relive that again and and you know her getting duped by a fake you know thing to get uh to get on tv that sucks that sucks but what a film what a film i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if it did please like subscribe hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day follow me on twitter twitch tiktok and instagram all social media down description below and we'll get you for another video goodbye